Jesus is our Lord and Master. We belong to him. That is the countercultural message at the heart of today's gospel, and it truly is countercultural. So often in our world, people assume that I can only be my real self when I am completely independent, autonomous, when I am self-made, when I take care of my needs first, and then perhaps take care of others after that. So to belong to another is extremely countercultural, and yet, let's face it, it's the only life that truly gives joy. What do I mean? Only if we allow ourselves to be offered to another, only if we give ourselves over to another to belong to them, are we really and truly happy. Think, for instance, of a young couple. They want to live for the other. They give themselves over to the other. The same with those who are engaged, those who are newlyweds. And not just in romantic love. Think about the love of a father or a mother for their child. How often does their love grow and their joy grow as they belong to that child, as they live for that child, and as they sacrifice their very lives for that son or daughter? Yes, joy comes actually in belonging to another. And it's through baptism that we belong to Jesus, that he becomes our Lord, and dare I say it, our master. So after we have done all things well, if we're leading a life of faithfulness to Jesus, if we're trying to imitate him, if we're being good Christian men and women, then I don't think we just pat ourselves on the back and say, well done, hurrah, hurrah, good for me. No, Jesus tells us something else in today's gospel. He says, basically, when you have done all you were ordered to do, simply say to yourself, we are worthless slaves and we only did what we ought to have done. Incredible. We only did what we ought to have done. And let that be enough for us. And it can be, provided that we actually truly believe the scriptures when they say, doing God's will is the food that sustains me. May God bless you as you try to be faithful, as you try to belong to him a little bit more on this day. May God bless you.